John 17:26 Kai egnorisa autois ta anamasu kai gnoriso hena he agape hein agape sasme in autois e kago in autois we continue to hear Jesus praying to the Father on behalf of the disciples. He says to the Father, And I made known to them, that is to his disciples, your name, that is the name of the Father, and I will make known, and I will continue to make known your name, implied, so that, eh, 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 we know the subjunctive is coming, and there it is right there, right? And there it is all the way over there, so that, the love which you loved me, in other words, the love with which you loved me, may be, there's your subjunctive of a me right there, may be in them, and I in them. And, and the subjunctive form of a me is implied again, and I may be in them. Let's look first at that subjunctive form of a me. Of course, we knew a subjunctive form had to be coming following the henna. Let's remind ourselves when we have a henna, we have a hatan, we have any form of on, right? On, hatan, hasan, henna, any of these things. Eh, 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 subjunctive alarm is going off. Oh, ace, a, it's that third person singular. You say, well, how does the subjunctive form of Amy translate? Well, following henna, so that I may be, so that you may be, so that he may be. In this case, so that the love may be, so that the love with which you loved me may be in them. Let's also look at this first verb here, which are the it's the same lexical form, of course, for the second form here. The lexical form is gnorizo, gnorizo, which means to make known or to reveal. This first form has an augment, has a sigma alpha, bam, that's going to be aorist active indicative. That's a first person singular ending. I revealed, I made known. This form here, you'll notice how the sigma has come in, the zeta is now gone. This is a future, future active indicative, first person singular. I will reveal, I will make known.